too long. Mine now. You can sit over there. So uh, not a lot of seats left. But uh still Thursday night. We're we're just, you know, we're hanging, we're bringing in bringing in the new year. It's uh it's a new year, 2023. Um, last year brought a lot of good things for me. Uh, had some pretty steady business there right before uh, the holidays, but uh, a lot of cars. But yeah, I want to talk a little bit about, uh, as you can see, my new uh, car trailer, car hauler, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Another one of those unbelievable stories. I don't know. I just keep, you know, it just that's just how it happens, you know, and I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for getting vehicles and deals and trucks and, you know. But, uh, yeah, so here I am. I got the 94 Dean car trailer that I've had for years um, I'm gonna have to try to remember when I actually got that but it was definitely I would say right around the early 2000s That I got that. Uh, I got it. Not to go in too much on that one, just because we're trying to focus on the new trailer. But in order to tell the story, this is what's got to happen. So that trailer I got. It was attached to a '78 GMC Dually Camper Special 454, similar truck to I have now. Uh, it was bright yellow. Uh, I got it, and it was a deal. It was uh, it was donated for a tax deduction. The guy was getting um, divorced, and his wife was going to get everything, so he donated everything. That was one of the pieces. Uh, so that truck became and trailer became very famous because uh, I I hauled so many cars with it. Um, the bright yellow was terrible, but it became, you know, uh, uh, very popular. People knew, you know, uh, knew it was me, obviously. And uh, anyway, a lot of deals, a lot of stuff happened back then. A lot of trucks, a lot of stuff going on. Um, the truck really wasn't that bad. It, it, it was kind of falling apart. I mean, I used it, I worked it, but... Um, Motor and Trans came out, I scrapped the truck. If you go back to, I think the second video I uploaded to YouTube of all time, go back and uh, I'll try to put the information here uh, so that you can do that easily. But um, when I started making videos, that's when that truck went to the scrapyard. And uh, a lot of people hated me for that. Um, still to this day people watch that and comment very angry about that and believe me I'm angry at myself but that was a long time ago and uh, things were different but today obviously that truck would uh, be worth a lot more than just scrap but anyway the trailer um, you know it was never really the trailer that I wanted you know it was uh, it was a little narrow, you know, the, the four-wheel drive trucks, they, they just squeaked through, they hit the, the fenders, they hit the tires, 
Um, you know, it was open in the middle. Uh, it just really never was the dream car trailer that I really wanted. Um, so, but you know, that's what you get stuck with. And uh, I couldn't afford to spend four or five grand on the trailer. And that's like used, you know. Um, I, I, I'm a turn and burn, you know. I, I'm a go, you know, weekly just, you know, hustle. And uh, I never really had the money to just put up and uh, invest in the trailer that I wanted anyway. But I always wanted a solid diamond plate deck, beaver tail, wider, longer, 18 foot, uh, seven foot wide, I think. Uh, I just, it's all what I always wanted. And uh, that was the trailer that I was, you know, given, you know, I mean, I bought it, but you know what I'm saying? It, it, that's what I had to use. And uh, it, I tell you what, it rescued a lot of people. It towed a lot of people's cars, projects, and it told a lot of broken dreams. Um, so years go by and uh, you know the fenders get hit by the guy at the junkyard with the loader. Uh, you know things happen. A couple sets of fenders. Uh, some cracks here and there get welded up. Stuff like that. Um, I mean, I took that thing all the way down to the Florida line with my 78 Corvette on it. We won't talk about that because that's those are dreams, broken, just bad, bad times. Uh, South Carolina, Hulk Baron came right off in the rain, rainstorm, you know, uh, had to get a ride, get the parts, fix it. Fix the bearing. Um, one axle completely wiped out another time. Had to replace one axle in it. A lot of, you know, a lot of struggles, but all in all, that trailer always did what I needed it to. Uh, I went through a few winches on it, and uh, there was times that it being open in the middle was a real pain in the ass. But, again, that's what I had, so uh, it got welded over and over and over again. It got painted, and uh, then I moved up here to uh, middle of nowhere in Maine, and you know, one thing is, you got a trailer, I mean, how often do you really look underneath of it, right? But, I'm about to reveal uh, a secret that that trailer held for uh, probably more years than I even know, but I didn't notice it until about two years ago. So here it is, the secret of the famous car trailer. Um, one day, a wire fell down for the lights, that was another thing. Uh, a real big battle. Never, never, never. I think I maybe had all the lights working on that trailer right, you know, a couple times. But oh my God, you know, it was a, it was a struggle. Again, I had people that said they would re. You know, I'm not good at stuff like that. You know, I want pay someone rewire my whole trailer so that it works. I want lights. I want LEDs. You know, can't get anyone to do it. I want to pay money for you to do it. No can't do it. I don't want to help you do it. I want you to do it. Some things, you know, you just want to pay for. It. But anyway, one day the wires hanging down underneath. I lay down, nice summer day, dry ground, I lay down. I look under there. I got to, you know, reattach this wire so it's not hanging. It's bugging me. And uh, I look, and to my the horror that my eyes see is 
a frame that is completely rotted. I'm talking holes in the frame right where the leaf springs attach where everything where the you know the stability uh, of the trailer the, the parts that matter you know wow holy shit it was scary how rotten it was um, so needless to say I was uh, not very happy about that and uh, could this be the end could it be the end of the trailer what am I gonna do I don't have the money I go car to car junk to junk I try to make money pay the bills I don't have money uh, all the trailers up here they want big money for them and they're all homemade mobile home axles you know not what I want I want a good trailer so uh, here I am what am I gonna do what would you do I gotta make money I gotta live I gotta provide for my family I have to I, I've made a name for myself I have a business I you know this is a big part of it uh, to fix it I mean yeah you can go on to there you know weld a few pieces on but uh, you know it needs to be axles torn out of it completely put in the air run metal all the way down the trail you know to fix it right and that's where that comes in again because I was told by somebody with a shop that the trailer can even be put on a lift oh we're, we're gonna rebuild that trailer the one guy that looked under there and he knew about my secret no one else knew but he knew so broken dreams never happens can't do it project never happens what am I gonna do I gotta continue on somebody calls says I got a free car that you know I can make hundreds of dollars off yeah just gonna continue on I mean what would you do um, I'm gonna tell you right now if there was any sort of a DOT or um, you know cop of any kind that cared about stuff and safety if they ever looked under there I would have been probably arrested you know I mean it, it was a it was a burden on me mentally you know driving down the interstate with a 6,000 pound you know truck on the back of that thing knowing in my mind how that frame looked it's very nerve-wracking so in the meantime the things breaking everywhere else it, there's there's cracks and stuff and I'm welding metal on there you know and I'm just <laughs> I'm actually putting band-aids on this thing so that I can continue to work and make money and and that's just what it comes down to is you know I had to keep on going so then I got I saw this trailer someone told me about and it was like two and a half hours away from here the pictures of it looked like it did have the mobile home axles but up here everyone does that and I'm like you know what it was 500 bucks and I'm like if this is a strong you know stronger trailer yeah it's really not exactly what I wanted but it's pretty close in the pictures it looked you know the measurements were there everything had the beaver tail it had the stand-up ramps which I don't really want I didn't really want sort of that landscaping kind of trailer look but um, anyway long story short I drive all the way there this thing it's sitting in tall grass and the pictures it looked like a, a nice low trailer you know like you want well get there the things all up off the ground 
it's too high. It's just the value's there. It's got brand new tires, you know, way overbuilt, way heavy duty. Uh, I never really showed it. I don't think I don't think I made any videos of it, but just hooking it up to the black truck to the half ton. I mean, with nothing on it, the thing was like put the ass end down. I mean, the thing was too heavy. It was just but whatever. I'm like 500 bucks. I'm already here. I bought it. I brought it back. And one thing was is it had no decking on it needed, you know, the wood decking. So um, I was going to go get the nice stuff, do it up. Well, the more and more I thought about it, I just, I never, I don't think I actually got my ass in gear to get the wood to do it because it just really wasn't what I wanted. So anyway, I'm just sitting around minding my own business one day. And this old guy that lives down the street, he, you know, I've helped him out and he's brought me scrap metal, stuff like that. Um, nice old guy. He calls me and says, hey, I know a guy that uh, has a card hauler for sale that he doesn't need anymore. And uh, I don't know what he wants and I don't know any details about it. You know, I just figured that you might be interested. So I'm like, you know, it's probably one of those things where it's just, you know, either overpriced or just not even, you know, some homemade thing, whatever. So I'm not too excited about it. He says, yeah, this other guy uh, that I know, actually the same guy that I got the furnace from, he needed a trailer. But he was looking to borrow one, and I thought that he needed one to buy. So the guy, the old guy says he sent him over, he sent Bubba over to look at the trailer, but he's looking to use somebody's trailer to go pick up a tractor. He wasn't looking to buy one. So anyway, I end up contacting Bubba, and I'm like, what is the deal with this trailer? Oh, I don't know. It's a big utility trailer, and uh, the guy's got big sides on it, all this. Uh, he's like, but I'm not looking to buy a trailer. And he says, uh, he says, the guy wants like $1,000 for the thing. I'm like, well, if it's a real car trailer, like you say, could be worth it. So anyway, I find out where this is by taking about three different rides in town because I was told the wrong street address. Told the wrong street. So finally, I get over, I find out where this thing is. It's sitting behind this guy's house. The guy is 87 years old. Nicest old guy ever. Brought me inside his house. We hung out, we talked. Just a great experience. He bought this 2005 Anderson car trailer brand new he put some big wooden sides on it that came with it that I have put some furniture on it brought it from Florida to Maine went back put a truck on it brought it to Maine after that parked in the backyard been sitting there since years so I look at this thing, it is exactly the dream trailer that I always wanted. Full diamond plate steel deck, beaver tail, 18 feet long, 7 feet wide, I mean a good uh, foot, yeah, a foot wider and 2 feet longer than my other one makes a big difference. Uh, I said, so he asked a little bit about me. I said, you know, what do you got to get for this thing? Well, I mean, you know, I like to get a thousand, but you know, make me an offer. I was like, well, say that. I mean, who's going to pay the full price? I'm like, well, I'm like, uh, I'm like I'll, I'll give you 800 bucks cash for it. He's like, really? You want it? 800 bucks. Couldn't believe it. Most amazing thing ever. 
Uh, he says, you'll be here tomorrow. I'll have all the paperwork, original title, uh, original everything from when he bought the thing, brand new. It's a $5,000 trailer. Uh, so I go back there the next morning. I'm excited as hell. Back the truck in. This old guy, he cranks that thing up, muscles it on the ball, hooks it up. I plug in the lights, all the lights work. Um, so I bring the thing home. Of course, I take the wood sides off. Those are nice. They, you put them back on if you need to, you know, haul some loose shit, whatever. But uh, it's crazy. I got, I got toes to do. I got deals going on. I got two trailers, the driveway's plugged up. I'm trying to transfer over everything, but every time I try to do that, someone wants something picked up. I gotta get the winch off the other one. It was just a total blur of just trying to get everything done. It was crazy. There was two inches of dirt and tree and leaves on this trailer from where it sat. Uh, once I cleaned that all off, underneath was, there, there wasn't a gouge, there wasn't a scratch. The, the fenders are perfect, strong, nice fenders. Uh, the tires were dry rotted from sitting junk. I just bought those tires, uh, well, probably been about a year and a half, two years. I put brand new tires on the other trailer. Same bolt pattern, swapped them right over, put the wheels in all. And, uh, you know, I got the winch. The winch was a struggle because I had to do a different mount and everything. Uh, I got that all on there. I even went and got the Harbor Freight tongue toolbox. Got my batteries in there, my straps, all my stuff. I mean, just so nice. Uh, just crazy there's so much to tell uh, but anyway it's just uh, oh so then the other trailer I mean you know it's kind of like sentimental I mean it's kind of stupid I mean the thing's basically junk but I mean it's like you know it would kill me to just scrap the thing cut it up or whatever uh, I got no room to keep it. Uh, I could keep, I could have kept it at a friend's house, but that same friend said, you know, uh, he's got a seventy, I believe it's a seventy six Corvette, and he's had it for years. Doesn't drive it. It just sits under a cover in the yard. But um, he said, geez, you know. I wouldn't mind having that trailer. I said, God, I would just put my Corvette up on it and just leave it sitting there in the yard up on the trailer. And I could work on it on there and, you know, get it off the ground. So I said, well, you're not going to use it. You're not going to go into business and start towing cars with it. No, 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 no. I'll never leave the yard. So I said, well, as long as you don't use it and, uh, you know, anything like that I said yeah I said give me 200 bucks so uh, he ended up well that's besides the point but he gave me his brand new set of Mustang wheels and tires that are worth like you know a thousand bucks but um, I took those in trade because I uh, figured I'd get more and uh had someone on the hook for 600 bucks, but fell through before winter, so I still got those. Anyway, I didn't really care. Um, the trailer didn't owe me a dime. The trailer, you know, so happy with it, and uh, it never actually uh, crumbled into pieces like it should have, but.
25 minutes. Still there? Come on. It's Thursday. You gotta. Whoa, I'm getting hungry though. It's gotta be dinner time, but. Anyway, that's the story. And uh, it's unbelievable, but. That trailer is everything I wanted. It is so nice. The first tow I did with that was a three quarter ton Chevy Express van. Uh, the thing weighed, it had shelves in the back. It was a plumber's van. I mean, the thing weighed 6,000 pounds. Uh, there's so much room on that trailer with it being you know, wider and everything, longer, it's, uh, there's just so much more room and, you know, with cars and stuff, you can, you know, maneuver around, if you got a car with flats, even, I've even picked up cars with no wheels and just drag them right on, it doesn't matter, you got all the room, uh, so nice, the thing goes down the road, it doesn't even rattle. You know, it, it, it doesn't even make any rattle noises. I mean, it's just so nice. The only thing I wish I could have done, and it got so cold out in winter, is uh, give it a nice fresh coat of black paint, you know? And uh, I'll be doing that in the spring, but... Of course, the uh, guy at the junkyard and the loader already hit the fenders a couple times. A couple dents here and there. What are you going to do? You haul junk. It's what's going to happen. But uh, still very solid. Um, probably upgrade some uh, LED light stuff on it. Uh, but there you go. That other trailer. So thankful to have owned it. It uh, made me a lot of money over the years. Uh, back back in the beginning I mean I hauled the heaviest thing I ever hauled I still know to this day because it was the scariest tow I ever did it was a 1977 C30 Chevy you know square body regular front dually but the extended frame with an actual dump body on it I mean, this was an actual dump truck. Uh, it was total junk sitting in the back of this uh, guy's yard, and he said, if you can get it, you can have it. At the time, price of scrap was pretty high. Um, I got that thing on there, and he said, and I said, the bed is full of little you know, tires and rims from like, you know, snow blowers, lawnmowers, stuff like that. Like, it was just full. I'm like, I can't take it with all those tires. Oh, you got to take all the tires. So, got it loaded up on that trailer. And I mean, the dually, the outside tires hung off. It just pulled all the way to the front. It just fit on there. It was the scariest thing I ever did. I went on the interstate and I did 30 miles an hour is all I could go because there was so much tail weight that it was doing this. It was doing this. I couldn't correct it. Uh, I had the old yellow dually towing it. And uh, I couldn't believe it. I, passed, I actually passed by a DOT cop sitting on the side of the highway that day. And... Uh, he never moved. I got about 45 minutes down the highway. I got off the ramp and uh, I took a deep breath, pulled over. I actually had to gather myself. Um, so I continued on the back road to the junkyard. When I pulled in, the guy was shaking his head at the junkyard. And I still remember it to this day. And uh, I pulled on the scale. I don't remember how much it weighed. But I remember he he said oh, I'm gonna have to deduct like 
I don't know, $30 or something like that it was for the tires. I said, whatever. The thing was free. I got 700 and like, I think it was like 780 for that thing in scrap weight. And uh, boy, did I celebrate that day. I had steak tips, I had beer, I stopped, um, had to take a nap in the truck, oh, it was a, it was a great day. But, um, yep, that trailer always did what I needed it to, and uh, now I got 2010 truck, very comfortable, excellent deal on that. The hydraulic lift gate and I got the trailer that I always wanted and uh, it's unbelievable but you know I don't have many people to share it with so uh, I'm telling you the story I hope you you know if you lasted this long and you listen to the whole story without skipping through well wow. Cheers to you. If you actually did that, leave a comment, tell me that you watched every goddamn second of this video. It's Thursday night, we're partying, the place is just, I mean, the roof is coming off, the people in here, it's crazy, but uh, I still found time to tell you that story, and uh... There you go. Keep on doing it. Ain't going nowhere. But, you never know. You never know when that day might come. And, you know, you, I'm not talking to you. You, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. What I'm talking about, and you know exactly who you are and what you did. And that's all I'm going to say about that. The day is going to come. You never know when it might come. But I will see you. on the streets.